Hi everyone, my name is Dong Lian Zhang, and uh, I got my PhD degree in Nanjing University. I working now working as a postdoc in the Hong Kong uh, Polytechnic University. I'm happy to attend uh, uh, CS Davis annual meeting here. And uh, my the topic of my presentation is uh, in probability engine design for the model sharing and the use among the OpenMI, DMI, and OpenGMSIS model standards. Here, this is my main context of my presentation. Uh, first, I will introduce the background. As we know, modeling and simulation is a key method in the geographic, geographic research. Models are abstraction and expression of a geographic uh, phenomenon and the process. It can be used to enhance the capacity of the geographic analysis for traditional case. And the, uh, we can use many fields to universe the past, predict the future, reflect the process, and discover rules. And to now, we have uh, developed a massive more geographic analysis models that are in different domains, including hydrologic, uh, atmosphere, uh, economic, environment and others and uh, we can the, 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 this model uh also uh have different the special and the temperature scale and the present the different process and uh, so how to make a full use of this resource and uh, this is easy to use is a key question for us so more and more standards was designed by different uh, platforms and organizations for understanding, sharing, and reuse, just like uh, just CMS uh, is a big organization here. And uh, we also have the just uh, OpenMI, OpenGMS, and uh, the OpenMF. We also have some protocols, uh, just, oh, just uh, maybe uh, single standard, just like uh, OTD, OpenInstance uh, Metadata, and uh, UTS. Here, we just uh, introduced three participants in our research. The first is the uh, OpenMI. It's the, we, we also call the Open Modeling Interface. It's a standard for the real-time exchange of data between the between software components for environmental, environmental management. It has, uh, it focuses on the linking and the, and the integration between the modern components and second one is a CSTMS, as we know, it's our this uh, meeting organization. It uh, has a big modern repository, uh, and uh, it holds uh, its DMI as uh, more standard to most for modern encapsulation. encapsulation. And uh, you know, we just the, the modern response uh, repository here can also re uh, show us the uh, metadata of the massive modern resource and we can download the uh, resource here and uh, to understand them with uh, a maybe a easy way here and OpenGMS is my maybe uh is uh, just i'm from the OpenGMS, and uh, it's just a supposed model sharing uh, modeling and simulation resource for geographic applications it has a uh, maybe uh we can call the uh, uh, OpenGMS uh, interface site for modern sharing and reuse on the web it's of course just, just uh, sharing our modern resource as a modern service. So we have challenges now. And the model that follows specific standards can be shared and reused in their own standards. It can be easily be used by the framework or application following a specific standard, but it cannot be reused by another standard. It's a key problem, just like uh, you can see in this picture, just like uh, an LN, that's a uh, earth center, just like, like an LN, and the Z has, it doesn't have any rules with another LN. It's, it's a, uh, maybe has some obstacles to, in, in between them. Here we list some main detail changes here. The first one is the heterogeneity of the modern description as two key points. First is the uh, uh, different description files. As we say, uh, uh, we have uh, always we have some same information with the same field, just like name, input, output, just like this one. 
but sometimes we can have some same information with a different field. Uh, some in some standards, the introduction maybe we can call it abstract or or some guitar in some standard we can call it it's just called introduction. And then we have the sensor also have deep, also totally different field. Just uh, some data depends on grid, and some data depends different step if they are fails. So it cannot be inter -oper in the operation with directly with others. And then second one is we have different uh, uh, description loaders. It means just like open DMS, we can reuse the files as to re recall the metadata for the model. And uh, just uh, in DMI, we must to work the some interface to get the, the, the description of the models. The second one is the maybe the heterogeneity of the data input and output. Different center have uh, different uh, have different in the in data input and output. We have different center has the different data center. That's they can have the rules for uh, we use a uh, uh, to exchange the data, and we sometimes some some say we can just uh, exchange it with different. I believe it is a tree or just with belt. And then uh, they also have different exchange, uh, exchange uh, methods. Okay, we can call the different styles. Some said we use it as a parameter, and you sometimes we just uh, different, different input or output here. And the second one, we can say uh, uh, we have different uh, in working methods. And including different uh, in working logic, different programming languages, different running styles. Just like I can say, the the state one example, because one here we use the pattern to invoke it, but uh, plan B we use strap, and plan uh, state one we wrap it as the web service, and the plan B just like a component in, uh, by file. So. We raise some maybe with some the potential solutions for modern interoperation. We take open my system and open as an example here. First, first one we want to use the we can build a as a interoperation between the every two standard directly. We just uh, to uh to to do the interoperation uh between the every two standards. Second one, we can develop a universal standard as a big parallel to unify unify different elements here. The third one, we can develop a basic standard as a bridge and some and some extra uh, interoperation first between every two standards for advanced uh, interoperation functions. That's like this one. Uh, uh, for uh, all of them have the uh, advantage or the big and the disadvantage. For the first one, the solution A maybe is very easy. It's easy um, to build a association solution because uh, we can just uh, build uh, the every two standards with others, but it's very difficult when the standards are more and more. And the second one, the, is, uh, the main challenge is to defend the universal standards in the middle. It's very difficult to build it. So we choose the third one, we just uh, to build a uh, basic rules for the universal uh, universal, universal basic standards and uh, to support our interoperability engine design uh, amongst uh, our three standards. And we list the three key points uh, to design our uh, interoperability, interoperability engine. First one is the field matching. And the second one is the uh, function conversion. And the third one is the components reorganization. We use this three key points to can interoperate, interoperate the modern in source standards to the modern in standards. The first one, 
Well, maybe as yes, you can see, we can say we can have some bells in the first the left and a. In well, maybe we use the common field table to map the, some map some the fields in the standard A to the standard B. Use this one. We can also can can fill the missing field by the common field table to and preserve some maybe some or fails. Here is part of the, our the uh, maybe the common fails table. We define some basic uh, fails here. Second one is a common fashion table. And in here, uh, we also the first one we we need to uh, to to link the different uh, functions between the Standards, and you can see we also defined the common table here to link the them together. Uh, here is the function table here, and then we also use uh, the we also need to to transfer the data the data from it and uh, commit uh, to map the data contents in the output data and the, and the, uh. Input data. So we use a universal data exchange model in our uh, in our team to do it. The final one is a common recognition. We also do in the physics do you we also need to press the, in the model in center A, uh, and uh, copy the maybe the file and combine it uh, with uh, with uh, Wrappers and rewrap them at the same B. Here is uh, my our 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 interoperability automation. It is code here. They are open source in the GitHub. Uh, we also uh, list some. We can also list some uh, case studies here. The first one is open by to the open GMSS. We can have. Uh, yeah, we can have the uh, uh we use uh, some or open my components here to wrap it as a some uh, uh some one service here, and we give all we also validation it validate it with test data. Second one is open gems to open my okay we wrapped uh open the web service links it links it to the. Uh, open uh, uh open my as uh, open uh, my components here. Third one is a BMI to open GMSS. We wrap the perma modules uh, for its uh, name for its number component here is uh, this is a modern for in the BMI and we we wrap it as a modern service here. The final one is also the FDS model in in open GMS. We wrap it. We can rewrap it as a BMS component and it work it in uh, by BMS interface. Here we have some uh, question to discuss. First, we found a Levis loss here to that uh, all of fields and functions expressed in the components are decided by the interaction of the from the net uh, native model to the a uh, final mode uh, to the model in final standard. That's like this one. Uh, we you can see the final uh, the finally the modern uh, the uh, the fields and the functions in fin in in final uh, standards just uh, per just uh, can pursue the functions in the by the interaction of all of the. It's a key point. We will do the further research of them and try to preserve the more fails and functions. The second one is the wrapper or linker. Wrapper means uh, just wrap the components in as uh, uh, to come to preserve all the fails uh, of the of the model and by standards. And linker just uh, to link the models remote remotely. And to wrap these at the cylinders. You have the advantage and the disadvantage. 
just like a wrapper. Wrapper is more, maybe more sustainable and reliable because they copy all files in your own PC. And the linker just can save more space in your PC and they are easy to use and to configuration. Uh, here we, we come to the conclusion. With the development of the different standards for modern sharing, modern interoperation among the different uh, different is uh, increasingly important. Maybe is our I mean uh, our research topic. And then further in the fall in the future, we have also have some work to do. First, we also want to build a universal standard for modern no interoperation. It's very difficult, but it's a dream. Second one, we is what we are going, uh, we are we are ongoing is to do the data exchange solution among the different standards. Third one, we also want to develop a more basic standard plug extra tools. And the final one, we need the more studies to summarize the, the set of the practice engine. So it's our team. Here this way is my a PhD advisor in Chen and uh, this is our teammate. Uh, thanks to them all. And uh, that's all. Thank you for your team. Thanks.